Hey, it is Wrestling Fan for Life 98 version 1, guys, and I am back up here on YouTube. And yes, and this is to bring you another video up on the channel this week. And uh, after that, I uh, made my review. Well, I, I uploaded the review that I made of WWE Clash of Champions 2020. And again, guys, if you want to go back and to see my review of WWE Clash of Champions that again it is up on the channel now and that it has now had 13 views in total now no 14 views or 13 that it's had and I just again want to say thank you again for the comments that I had uh, on that video as well, on, you know, doing my review of WWE Clash of Champions 2020. And that first off, what I have done for this video as well is that I have just tried to turn the angle off the camera around for this video as well, because I just thought that this looks, you know, just to try something a bit different with uh, with the camera, just to try and do it again from a different angle and, and to do it again, you know, portrait, and not, you know, well, basically like not, you know, landscape. So I just thought that again, just again, so it looks a bit different just to see how, how it looks, you know, for this video to see how, if this works or not. Um, and again, because, you know, just to try something a little bit different with the camera and all that. Well, with, you know, so you can again, see more of my bedroom then as well. You can get to see a bit more around of my bedroom. And, uh, well, yeah, you can just, you know, sort of see a bit more, you know, what's behind me and all that. And, the, yeah, and uh, just to, again, let you a bit more into my into my bedroom and that. Well, again, I've actually got two bedrooms because this isn't where my bed is. My bed is in a different room, but this is my proper bedroom still. But it's kind of been taken over a little bit. And it's kind of turned into, wow, it's, you know, it's kind of turned into, uh, yeah, but anyway, long story short, but yeah, but like I said, but I just want to say thank you again for, uh, again, for the comments on that. And to say that I have also had a new subscriber in the last uh, 24 hours as well, which is Mark Calloway, no, Mark Undertaker Calloway, who subscribed uh, to, to the channel. And I just want to say thank you uh, to you for uh, being a subscriber and for subscribing to uh to my to my channel and he has become the seventh subscriber and i just want to make a shout out to him because i just want to you know do a shout out to uh to my to my viewers uh, well to my subscribers when when i've had a new subscriber so go and you know do a favor and after you've seen this video to go and subscribe to his channel but he's not had any videos uploaded yet on his channel but again he was really nice to me and was kind to me and he put a nice uh, comment on my clash of champions 2020 uh, review the other day so i just want to say you know again just to give a mention to his channel a mention to him uh, or a her, it could be a her, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm not quite exactly sure, but yeah, just go and, yeah, just go and uh, subscribe to his channel, he's only got, well, I subscribed to his channel, so I was only the third subscriber to his channel, but yeah, I just want to again give a note of that, that I am now up to seven subscribers, so thank you now uh, for that, but uh, yeah, and that also now that I have surpassed 300 uh, views now, as well guys also on the channel which again i cannot believe that i have been able to surpass 300 views and again it's all because of you guys it is all down to you it is down to you for again for seeing my videos for watching my videos you know that come up on the channel and getting behind my channel well getting behind me and supporting me which again, I've just really, you know, liked, but yeah, you know, I literally can't believe that I've got, you know, 300 views, I mean, on, on my channel now, on my videos, it's just to get, well, over 300 views now, but yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy, like I said, to think, like I said, that I only again started back on YouTube, that I came back to YouTube this year after a five-year absence, and that again, it's it's just been like I said it's been uh 
and that again it's it's just been more than what I expected, like I said, for, for again for the general uh feedback and all that guys. But I mean, yeah, I just really again want to again just dedicate uh again my uh my respect to you guys, my support as well. Um and, and to say thank you for I mean to say thank you for your support that you've shown to my channel because again, as I said, I couldn't be, you know, doing this without the support and without again the the inspiration of uh, of other wrestling YouTubers out there like the Elitist and YouTubers like that and who subscribe to my channel and that me and him have got on really well now which which again is uh you know off YouTube and that again I've just made again some really kind of good friends now on YouTube I'm just again getting more into it now I'm getting more engaged with you guys on my channel but yeah so again just thank you for that guys again thank you again just for that little again it's a side note like I said to the video but again yes so I just again I, I just had to mention that I just had to say that first off because I again want to say thank you to you it's just again a, a thank you to you guys and uh, really, again, just to thank you guys again. But like I said, though, guys, let's now get into the video then that I'm going to do for you guys. Now, again, you might have seen this at the end of my Clash of Champions 2020 review. But again, in case if you hadn't uh, seen my review of Clash of Champions 2020, which again, you can again go back and watch that video uh, after you've seen this one. But that this is um, a special uh, review that I am bringing up to you to get today. As I am actually, uh, as like I said, as we just had again this year's uh, WWE Clash of Champions. That was two weeks ago. That came back uh, two weeks ago, like I said. That this is a special uh, pay-per-view look back review of the first WWE Clash of Champions. Going back to the first WWE Clash of Champions event. Uh, which is WWE Clash of Champions, a Clash of Champions 2016 special uh, look back review from four years on, four years on from Clash of Champions 2016. And, uh, and that this event uh, took place back on Sunday, uh, the 25th of September 2016. And that this was the first uh, time that WWE had brought back uh, Clash of Champions under the chronology. This was the first WWE Clash of Champions event because, again, just a little bit of a backstory that Clash of Champions started out as a WCW uh, pay-per-view that WCW had the rights of clash of of using the the name of Clash of Champions back in the 90s and all that if if again you know in the 90s and that so again that WWE brought uh you know Clash of Champions well had the rights then got the rights to have you know to have it become a WWE pay per view, but that this and and, and that this also replaced uh, Night of Champions as well. This also replaced uh, Night of Champions from the year before in two thousand and fifteen, uh, and and yeah, guys. So I just thought that I would try and just do a look back with you of Clash of Champions twenty sixteen because again, that looking back to four years ago, man. I mean, it is crazy because. Um, Around this time, I was actually 18, would you believe it? I was actually just turned 18 back in 2016, well, back at this time, and I was at college and all that. So, yeah, for me, this is like, this does again feel a while ago now, but I really can't believe again that this was, you know, four years ago, that this is four years on from the first, you know, WWE Clash of Champions. But really, again, a lot has, you know, changed, you know, since, uh, you know, since after this event took place. But I mean, yeah, but again, the event took place on Sunday, the 25th of September. And the also, that this was also the first, and this was a Raw-branded 
event uh, as well that the first that Clash of Champions 2016 was a raw branded event because again if you remember that in the summer well because they had the the um the brand extension they had the uh the return of the brand extension and that um in 2016 in July well two months prior in July 2016 and that it would be after SummerSlam after SummerSlam that then Raw and Smackdown would have their own exclusive uh, pay-per-views and this was actually the first one that came that Clash of Champions was the first Raw pay-per-view and Backlash was the first SmackDown exclusive exclusive uh, event. So that again, this event was just only Raw superstars who competed on the event, and that uh, and as again, and that like I said, basically again that the gimmick of the pay per view again is that all championships on Raw at the time all had to be uh, defended, all had to be defended, which were, again, back then, was the WWE Universal Championship, the WWE US Championship, the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships, and the Raw Women's Championship. So, again, just as a side note, and that also, the venue that was uh, for Clash of Champions 2016 was the Bankers Life Fieldhouse in Indianana, Indianapolis, and that the attendance, uh, well, the live gate was 13,467. That was uh, recorded. Uh, as well, that's the source that I got from Wikipedia. So again, whether that is true, I don't know. But yeah, thirteen thousand and four hundred and seventy-six. Well, sixty-seven fans, uh, were in attendance. Well, uh, turned up to see Clash of Champions twenty sixteen. Which now that again that we're in twenty twenty. And that again, right now, that this just feels like so strange because that now again, there is no fans right now, like I said. So again, just to go back and the fact that again, that this again was in, you know, actually like in an arena with fans in attendance, just again, feels like, I mean, I know again, it was four years ago, but still like, it just seems like that, you know, that, you know, with what's gone on this year, it's just good that this event again actually took place in front of fans. So, but yeah, the match card uh, consisted of eight matches and there was one match that was on the kickoff show uh, prior to, you know, prior beforehand to the main show. And uh, so, yeah, so without any further ado... Let's uh, then get into the event. So the kickoff show match, then the pre-show match, uh, saw Nia Jax uh, defeating uh, Alicia uh, Fox in a singles match uh, by pin four. Now, I don't really remember a lot of uh, this pre-show match other than that Nia Jax uh, won this match and she uh, defeated Alicia Fox by pin four, in again, in a relatively, you know, quick sort of squash match, I mean, it was a squash, because at this time, this was when Alicia Fox was being, you know, buried on Raw, and that she wasn't really, again, anything special at the time, and again, again, you know, she was really, again, just not doing a whole lot at this time, and that, you know, she was just having this random feud, with Nia Jax, it wasn't again like you know anything special. It wasn't um a big feud, but I think that yeah, I think that they had one or two other matches on Raw that came like I think before this match, or I think that came you know after this. But I mean Nia Jax, you know, it was just all about I think to make Nia Jax look dominant at this time because this was the time again that Nia Jax was being pushed on Raw. And all that. Well, you know that uh, that yeah, because this was again she she was on the main roster and all that. Then well, she came up to Raw and all that. But uh, yeah, but again, I really again haven't got much to say. It was just again an average kickoff show match for the first you know Clash of Champions uh, pre-show because again, even four years ago, again they still had these 
kickoff show matches again because it was only four years ago. But yeah, again, really nothing special. But Nia Jax uh, defeated Alicia Fox. And again, it was just uh, a basic, you know, a generic, you know, match. And again, it was, you know, quite dull. But I think I do remember watching uh, this match, though. I think I do remember watching this kickoff match. But again, so there we are with the pre-show. I don't, again, remember an awful lot of uh, what happened. But Nia Jax, again, pinned Alicia Fox. And uh, yeah, so let's then move on to the main card of WWE Clash of Champions 2016, where we opened up, opened up with the uh, WWE Raw Tag Team Championship match, the first title match of the night out of five championships that were defended out of the seven main matches on the event, because there were two matches that were non uh, title matches well but again well there was just you know two matches that weren't for a, for a championship so uh so we had uh the new day uh biggie and kofi kingston with xavier woods who uh who at the time were were the raw tag team champions who took on uh the good brothers uh carl anderson and luke gallows the now uh released uh carl anderson and luke gallows who are now in Impact, who have now uh, joined Impact, who joined Impact uh, back in uh, back in uh, May when they were released by WWE because WWE made uh, roster cuts and Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows uh, were released uh, this year by WWE. And uh, and now they are now and then they went and signed uh, for Impact just only a couple of uh, weeks later, or I think it was in like towards the end of July uh, or mid July, but they 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 signed with uh, with Impact, which is where that they ended up going to, and it is a shame because uh, again they were a good tag team. And again, them with AJ Styles were, were good. So, but yeah, but in the end, uh, you know, Biggie and uh, Kofi Kingston then defeated Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows to retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. Because again, the New Day again at this time were on Monday Night Raw. And that, uh, yeah, and that this would be a part of their longest uh, tag team title run back uh, in 2016 that they would go on to be the longest running tag team champions that they would break uh, the record of I think demolitions record that this was at the time that they broke I think they did and uh, I mean yeah as WWE tag team champions um as the longest reigning WWE tag team champions of all time. I think so. I'm still, again, not sure if that was right. But I think that that's what they did. And again, like I said, the New Day again are still around now. But, uh, you know, Big E, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. So, and that just recently, that last night, they were involved with the 2020 draft where they have been split up. So, which again, I'm going to get into that in another video, but uh, there we are. So the New Day retained the Raw Tag Team titles, and again, the match lasted 6 minutes and 45 seconds. But like I said, this was an okay, you know, match. I mean, it was a relatively short opener match, and then again, it didn't again get to, you know, 10 minutes. And it was a relatively short, you know, tag team match. But it was okay for what it was. But again, it was all about the New Day. Again, going on their run as the longest reigning uh, tag team champions. WWE tag team champions. Uh, wow. Well, I mean, in history to be the longest reigning tag team champions in history. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it was an okay tag match. I mean, they didn't really... I, I can't quite remember if they had another match at Hell in a Cell. I think they did have a rematch. But yeah, I mean, the following month. But yeah, I mean, the New Day, like I said, defeated Anderson and Luke Gallows and Luke Gallows, so there we are with that, and the next match then, and the third match of the night, saw uh, TJ Perkins, uh, saw the, uh, 
into the Cruiserweight, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, uh, TJ Perkins defending the Cruiserweight Championship against the Brian Kendrick. And uh, that TJ Perkins defeated the Brian Kendrick in a singles match to retain the WWE Cruiserweight title as this was the first uh, Cruiserweight title the first time that the Cruiserweight title was defended on a WWE pay-per-view since 2007 when the belt uh, was retired uh, by WWE because the belt was uh, was retired uh, back in 2007. Uh, I can't again really quite remember why it was now, but they just, uh, you know, got rid of uh, the Cruiserweight Championship and then, that then they set it up uh, a tournament... Oh, well, they then had a Cruiserweight Classic uh, tournament that was uh, back in 2016. And that then they then had a tournament to crown a, uh, a new Cruiserweight uh, champion in that tournament. And TJ Perkins won that tournament at the time uh, by beating, uh, I think it was he beat it, oh, I can't think now, Kota Ibushi. No, I think, no, not Kota Ibushi. Oh, I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, but anyway, he won the, the, the Cruiserweight Championship in the finals. And so he defended uh, the Cruiserweight Championship here against uh, the Brian Kendrick here at Clash of Champions 2016. And uh, this match, you know, was uh, not too bad for what it was, but it only lasted uh, for 10 minutes. So, um, it wasn't, uh, too long, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't too